show you the brush uh, at least what I got going on here this is the top part of it it's very very awesome flow rate's pretty cool I got a different uh, articulating head and that's just basically the one that fits with my uh, my pole um, so that's this is a little also let me flip this bad boy over it's uh, a little dirty um, it's because I'm just kind of rough <laughs> cleaning solar panels isn't like cleaning like windows um, so that that's a fact this is the uh, scour pad um, it works pretty good um, I'm gonna show you a video in a, a minute with it on the jets here at the Rhino high flow 75 foot tubing it's really cool man it's got a, a lot of good water flow to it which okay. is pretty cool you um, can see it's really cool I'm doing this with one hand you know, it's it's a wide brush. I think it's actually like a 24. I don't know, I should probably wait, uh, measure it. 24, 22 inch, but uh, really gets the, the panel nice. <clears throat> Fits it good, so it, you know, speeds up productivity, which is really, really cool. There's a few. So one of the things that I found is the bristles on the side are perfect for these brackets. It just nails it. The uh, back bristles probably could be a little bit longer, as you see, they don't really touch. Um, and that, that depends on where you have your articulating head, but um, they hit really nice. They attack the bee pollen really good and the bird poop. I really like it. Um, I use it on uh, every solar panel. Look at that nice view of San Diego, California, by the way. Um, but uh, I love it and uh, highly recommend it. Guys, let me show you something a little bit about the brush. We'll go over a few things that are pretty cool. By the way, look at these panels, man. Glass. Ain't crazy. Anyways, um, so when it's cleaning, I've got the articulating head just kind of straight. So I mean, it's at a 90 degree angle. So never mind that that uh, space in between there at the bottom part. But what I'm focusing on here is the size. I want to show you why this thing is so cool. Um, you get right here along the brackets which they're all different but it goes over and cleans it very well but then in this little area we can see the bristles getting on the side of it a lot of times when we're hitting it uh, with the brush it kind of bounces around this area and doesn't get clean so that's really good then when you go over to do this it gets the uh the other side of the panel so i mean 
you're uh, you're doing really good on this one. Getting a full clean again up the sides, which is very very important. Um, I don't know if you noticed that, but the pad just hit and moved. Actually, it doesn't happen all that often. I think it happened just a little bit, bit ago, and I didn't put it back in place. So that happens, but uh, I'd say it's the whole time that I've had it so far, it's only happened about twice. That's not a concern. All right, then the middle part, just going over it, and I'm holding with one hand. You can see some yellow spots right here, so I mean, it's not 100%. If I put some pressure on it, but then again, you shouldn't have to go over it so many times because, you know, we're getting better, safer, faster. Um, maybe the added uh, scraper attachment or something, too. I don't know. We'll talk about that. Uh, but it does have a, a crazy effect and a lot stronger effect than just a uh, bristle brush.